It was fantastic to get to drive the Nissan Delta Wing for the first time. I think you said, you know, what it was like to put the throttle down. It was as much the way the car steered, the way it handled the high speed corners, the low speed, and just the poise that it had on track. Really encouraging for a first test of a new car, especially something as radical as this. So it was a great start to our program and definitely gives me a lot of encouragement heading into the huge amount of testing that we have between now and Le Mans. And I certainly can't wait to take the car there in June. I really tried not to have preconceived ideas. I tried to open my mind. Since the car is so different to anything that I've driven, I tried to go in there with a completely open mind. Of course, you start thinking, how is it going to turn? How is it going to feel? The feeling through the steering wheel. But I was greatly encouraged by the way it felt, the responses that I had from the car. And you know very quickly with a new car how it's going to be. And it just had a big thumbs up from me. It was just, it was great. Going to Le Mans, I'm going to use half the fuel of our competitors. Having our engineers involved in this project will mean we'll learn a lot and very, very quickly. 24 hours on a racetrack is a long time and we'll learn a huge amount about downsizing technology, lightweight materials, reliability and durability. I think Nissan have uh, been founding partners of the Delta Wing because they share the same attitude towards the challenge that this represents. I think this is a very significant step for the industry. Basically, we're going to be competing at the same speed as the premier status cars, but we're going to be doing it on half the fuel. And we've done that by halving the weight and halving the aerodynamic drag, whilst also being able to therefore halve the power. And this gives us this efficiency step. Basically, we're able to use a 1.6 litre DIGT tur you know, turbo engine from Nissan, and uh, this is really an extraordinary step, and I think that it will it'll shake the world, actually.